Hey bougie, click. Do you have self-control? The ability to manage impulses, emotions, and behaviors to achieve long-term goals is what separates humans from animals. Bougie women must practice femininity and self-control. Self-control is the ability to regulate your responses to avoid undesirable behaviors, increase desirable ones, and achieve long-term goals. Possessing self-control is essential for health and well-being. Be self-controlled. The capability to control yourself, your emotions and desires, or their expression in your behavior, especially in difficult situations, is self-control. The ability to manage impulses, emotions, and behaviors to achieve long-term goals is what separates humans from animals. Self-control is rooted in the prefrontal cortex, the planning, problem-solving, and decision-making part of the brain, which is more significant in humans than in animals. The nerve connections in the prefrontal cortex enable people to plan and evaluate alternative actions, ideally avoiding doing things they'll regret rather than immediately responding to every impulse. The capability to regulate emotions and behavior is crucial to the skills that allow an individual to plan, monitor, and attain goals. People who have lower levels of self-control can still cultivate healthy habits and take countermeasures to control their behavior. Avoid situations where you will confront temptation. Avoiding triggers is critical. Self-control is not about self-deprivation, and it is not about punishment. It is about redefining what is pleasurable to keep destructive behaviors in check. It is about taking power over your actions and learning to ignore impulses. The ability to exert self-control is referred to as willpower. It allows people to direct their attention despite competing stimuli and it underlies all kinds of achievement, from school to the workplace. It benefits relationships as well. Self-control is the ability to regulate your responses to avoid undesirable behaviors, increase desirable ones, and achieve long-term goals. Possessing self-control is essential for health and well-being. Common goals such as exercising regularly, eating healthy, not procrastinating, giving up bad habits, and saving money are a few ambitions that require self-control. Self-control is the ability to control behaviors to avoid temptations and to achieve goals. The ability to delay gratification and resist unwanted behaviors or urges. Delaying gratification involves putting off short-term desires in favor of long-term rewards. Impulse control is the capability to stop and think before acting. It lets us think through the consequences before we do something. Emotional control is the capability to manage feelings. It helps us keep going even when upsetting or unexpected things happen. Movement control is the capability to control how our body moves. It lets us regulate what we do physically in an appropriate way. Self-control helps us manage motivational conflicts. A motivational conflict is when motivations prevent action. Our motivation to eat arises out of genuine concern to ensure our own survival. In contrast, the motivation for sexual intercourse arises out of concern to pass our genes to the next generation. Motivations to seek affiliation and protect ourselves and loved ones from harm are examples of fundamental motivations that promote well-being. Self-control prevents us from engaging in impulsive motivated behaviors. People have a natural motivation to survive by eating, but they use self-control to resist eating unhealthy foods. Genuine motivations to reproduce through sexual intercourse must be overridden through the use of self-control to promote appropriate sexual behavior. Motivations to harm people who do us wrong are overridden through self-control because forgiving others fosters individual, social, and cultural well-being. Parts of self-control Monitoring means keeping track of your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Also, keeping track of your money, Keeping track of how much we spend or save correlates to how much money we have. Standards are guidelines that force us toward desirable actions. Our standards originate from society and culture. We also have personal standards that control our behavior. If you have specific religious beliefs, you might think it is inappropriate to eat certain foods, think specific thoughts, or feel certain emotions. Strength is the energy we use to control our impulses. Numerous factors affect our strength, such as stress and mental and physical exhaustion. 
Adequate self-control needs all three ingredients to work together. Self-control means better health. Physically, self-controlled people sleep better, experience less physical sickness symptoms, and live longer. They also enjoy better mental health. Self-control relates to lower anxiety and depression. Behaviors related to mental health problems, like substance abuse and suicide, are less common among people with self-control. Beyond money or good looks, people want a self-controlled partner. We want people we can trust, who keep their promises, and who will ignore their impulses to leave or get violently angry when things get complicated. Self-controlled people are understanding and react to conflict with forgiveness and kindness rather than cruelty. Self-control helps societies flourish. Self-controlled people earn more money. Not only do self-controlled people enjoy more wealth, but they also are more generous. They override selfish impulses and go out of their way to help others. Societies with clear-cut standards for behavior tend to function better than societies in which people do whatever they want. Success is dependent on how diligently you work, how much you persist in the face of failure, and how well you overcome temptation. The Four Parts of Impulsivity Urgency is when you act rashly when you feel upset. Urgency also has an optimistic twin, positive urgency or the tendency to act impulsively when we feel good. Lack of premeditation, to act before we think is a clear path to unfulfilled goals. Lack of perseverance, remain focused on achieving goals and override the natural impulse to quit. Show confidence that someday your efforts will pay off. Sensation-seeking, people with high sensation-seeking behavior, act for the thrill more than others do. Some behavior may have disastrous consequences. Other actions carry risk, but immense rewards. Ways to improve self-control. Become a mental energy accountant. Build self-control. Self-control relies on an all-purpose energy resource. You can strengthen your self-control by doing seemingly unrelated self-control tasks. Play offense against your environment. Self-controlled people take control over their environment. Self-control hurts because we battle against ourselves. A solution is to set up a mental contract and set your intentions. It is simple, but it works. What do you think? Are you a part of the bougie clique? Let me know in the comment section. Stay bougie.